intracellular accumulation intracellular accumulation of substance can be harmless or cause further injury further injury and accumulations can be in cytoplasm or it can be in organelles example lysosomes nucleus there are four mechanism or four mechanism leading to abnormal intracellular accumulation cellular accumulation first is abnormal metabolism abnormal metabolism that means in adequate removal of normal substance example is in fatty liver the liver second is defect in poor protein foldings and transport or it can be also in secretion and third is that the uh, uh, i mean to say that uh, failure of the failure to degrade a metabolite a metabolite D- uh, due to enzyme deficiency enzyme deficiency and uh, like that example is in the lysosomal storage disease and fourth is the ingestion of indigestible materials so there are four mechanism which can lead to abnormal intracellular accumulation if there is abnormal metabolism of, of substances then it will be uh, stored in that uh, organ example is the fatty liver second is the accumulation uh, means de- there is defect in protein folding transport and secretion and that can lead to accumulation of you know, endogenous substance uh, third is to failure to degrade a metabolism due to enzyme uh, deficiency because uh, uh, let's consider there is some complex substra- uh, substrate and uh, with the enzyme that was that was used to convert into the soluble products but uh, it, as there is uh, lack of enzyme then that complex substance is not able to convert into soluble product and fourth is the ingestion of uh, ingestible material it means to say that some uh, ab- abnormal exogenous material substance came to the cell and uh, the cell do not have the uh, enzymatic mechanism to degrade the substance and so it is accumulated within the cell and uh, in some case accumulation rever- reversible accumulation is reversible but in inherited storage disease accumulation lead to cellular injury cellular injury and to the and to tissue 
टिश्यू एंड पेशेंट and after that there are there are many things which get accumulated in the cells accumulated and examples are lipids proteins high line changes pigments calcium now let's look about about lipids the form of lipid that accumulate in the cell are triglycerides cholesterol cholesterol esters phospholipids it is basically the phospholipid they are the component of myelin figures component of myelin figures in figures that is in necrosis myelin figures in necrosis then now let's about, look about the fatty changes in liver fatty changes in liver that is called as st steatosis it means that a normal a normal accumulation of tgs of tg within the parenchymal cell within parenchyma and of course that will be of liver and uh, uh, this is occurring in liver because it, uh, it it is the organ which is involved in the fat metabolism it is the major organ which is uh, involved in the metabolism but it also occur in the organs like uh, also occurring occurring also occurring heart muscle and kidney the areas where you know fat fatty deposition is possible and cause of steatosis cause is toxins protein energy malnutrition diabetes mellitus obesity and uh, these are the common causes but in high, uh, if you look in the higher income nation the 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 most significant fatty changes in liver that is are due to the uh, al- alcohol abuse this is the uh, you know fatty uh, fatty change in the liver and also the non alcoholic fatty liver diseases and this all are uh, due to the diabetes and due to the obesity and now we will look about the cholesterol and cholesterol esters we have looked about the triglyceride this one triglycerides which is now we will look about cholesterol and cholesterol ester cholesterol and cholesterol esters Uh, the cell has very tightly regulated metabolism of uh, cholesterol and um, it is because the cell cell use the cholesterol for the synthesis of cell membrane and uh, it does not have any intracellular accumulation of cholesterol cholesterol esters 
if there is accumulation means there is something pathological process so if there is accumulation accumulation of cholesterol or cholesterol esters there is something pathological example is first it can occur in atherosclerosis atherosclerosis there is atherosclerosis plaque and the uh, atherosclerosis Athero, atherosclerosis plaques here the smooth muscle macrophages within the intima layer intima layer of aorta large arteries get filled with lipid vacuoles and that lipid vacuoles that contain cholesterol and cholesterol esters and this lipid vacuoles the cell have th these vacuoles has foamy appearance so called foam cells and this aggregate this aggregate is done where in the intima layer and the intima layer due to the plaques uh, produce the yellow cholesterol yellow cholesterol that in atheromas and atheromas this 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 get form and this get ruptured out is fat laden cell get ruptured produce release that i mean to say release cholesterol and cholesterol esters and where into the extracellular space space and there they form the crystals crystals and this crystal this crystals crystal phagocyte toast by by macrophages activate the inflammasome activate what inflammasome contribute the to local inflammation this is all about the atherosclerosis where the cholesterol and cholesterol cholesterol esters get deposited in the intima layer now first was atherosclerosis second is xanthomas the intracellular intracellular accumulations of cholesterol within macrophages this is the characteristic of characteristic of acquired in hereditary hyper lipidemic state and i told about foam cells this is the foam cell how foam cell is formed 
lipid vacuoles that that is formed and so here also the, uh, in this way the uh, here also foam cells are formed and foam cells are found in the sub epithelium connective tissue and foam cell is formed because there is intercellular accumulation of cholesterol within the macrophage and clusters of foam cell found in sub epithelial connective tissue of the skin in tendon and it produces tumorous mass called xanthoma this it is called as xanthoma this is the kind of definition then c is major problem is cholesterolosis this is the focal accumulation of full focal accumulation of cholesterol laden the cholesterol se bhara hua cholesterol laden macrophage in lamina propria propria of gall bladder and the related problem the the uh, lipid storage related problem the is Neman pig disease, and that is type C. It is a lysosomal storage disease. Lysosomal storage disease. In which what a pain mutation occur affect the enzyme. which was involved in involved in cholesterol trafficking this is the language of goro beans traffic trafficking or you can say metabol metabolizing and that lead to lead to cholesterol accumulation in multiple organ all organs we will look further more in different chapters this was xanthoma this is cholestrosis and neiman pickman disease this was all about the accumulation of cholesterol and cholesterol esters it is lipid this is done now we will look about the what was the accum accumulation of different substances lipids now we will look about proteins proteins that is the intracellular accumulation all is intracellular because amyloidosis that occurred extracellularly now we are reading intracellular now we are reading intracellular accumulation of different substances intracellular accumulation a protein and it appears as rounded eosinophilic helix droplets vacuoles so spelling is wrong rounded eosinophilic droplets it, it it will look eosinophilic like and a vacuole or it will aggregate in vacuole it was rounded and eosinophilic and or aggregate in the cytoplasm and uh, when we look by em upon microscopy appear 
amorphous fibrillar and crystalline what what was that amorphous fibrillar and crystalline and uh, i have said that uh, amyloidosis that there are the, there are certain disorders uh, where abnormal protein that prime that accumulate in the extracellular space okay now this uh, protein which get accumulated and um, th there has uh, several reasons due to it you know several reasons or you can say cause that cause visual ac accumulation accumulations example first is the reabsorption droplet reabsorption droplet in proximal renal tubules normally what what happen that uh, means i mean in kidney then there is the um small amount of protein that filter across the glomerulus and uh, which get I, i mean to say ki that um uh, normal it is normal condition that a small amount of protein filter through glomerulus filter through glomerulus okay and uh, this again filtered filtered but uh, what happened that in the pct it get reabsorbed get reabsorbed and by occur by pinocytosis and what is this pct occurring in the pct but abnormal is what some diseases that is associated with the protein loss in the urine, urine, urine that is called as proteinuria where there is the disorders like where there is the heavy protein heavy protein leakage occur heavy protein leakage occur occur through through glomerular filtrate then what happen if there will be more uh, filtration then there will be more reabsorption droplets more re reabsorption that is more the pinocytosis will occur so increased reabsorption of protein into the cycles okay but this process is it's important that this is this is what reversible means if e proteinuria diminished if e proteinuria is proteinuria is over is corrected then the protein droplet will metabolized and will disappear okay this is what this was the reabsorption droplet in the proximal renal tubule second cause is um the proteins that are secreted that are of course normal means normal protein are there but they are uh, produced in excess amount in excessive amount and they get accumulated where accumulated accumulation occur in er uh, example occur in examples like that uh, plasma cell uh which are um, plasma cell that is uh, produce ig igs immunoglobulins and uh, there is very huge huge synthesis of immunoglobulins 
and in that case in that case the er become huge stented that produce large homogeneous homogeneous it is homogeneous eosinophilic eosinophilic protein was eosinophilic inclusions it is called brussels bodies brussels bodies this was accumulation in ear now third is defective intercellular transport and secretion of critical enzymes like example we see in alpha 1 anti trypsin deficiency that the mutation occur in mutation occur here and this lead to proteins uh, slow folding protein slow folding lead to build up of parsley folded parsley folded intermediates that aggregate in er of hepatocytes the plasmid reticulum of hepatocytes and are not secreted occurring in phycema that is all about defective intercellular transport and secretion of critical enzyme now fourth is aggregation of abnormal proteins i missed one that is the glycogen i have not written glycogen yeah phospholipid etc and there was glycogen also so 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 here glycogen that is abnormal or misfolded protein deposit in tissue interfere with the normal function and uh, the deposit can be of deposit can be of intracellular extracellular and both and uh, you know this this uh, this aggregates aggregates what whatever that is happening that is directly or indirectly directly indirectly causing the pathological changes and a uh, certain form of amyloidosis also fall in, fall in this category this was all about protein intracellular accumulations now we will look about hyaline changes hyaline changes hyaline changes means that alteration has occurred in the alteration occurred within the cell or in extra cellular space gives 
homogeneous homogeneous it is also homogeneous protein was also homogeneous and eosinophilic homogeneous glassy because xylene is like uh, cleftic glass and pink appearance where in the h and in h and e staining and then xylene changes can be intracellular or it can be extracellular intracellular xylene changes what is that that is accumulation of protein it includes the accumulation of protein example was uh, you know like uh, reabsorption droplets that is in proximal pct was there and then the rusels the er er in er that is the rusels bodies and extracellular xylene it is more difficult to analyze and that it is also a you know part of that hyaline changes in uh, it is that it is seen in the long term hypertension long standing hypertension standing hypertension and in the diabetes mellitus here the ball of art arterioles the ball of arterioles especially the kidney that become hyalinized become hyalinized then this is all about hyaline changes now about glycosin that is it is the robin says that excessive intracellular excessive excessive very large amount extra but if there is of course intracellular that is deposit of what of glycosin that is seen in the patient which is which has the something problem in the abnormalities in the uh, glucose or that is called as glycosin having abnormality in glucose and glycosin metabolism and uh, how is the appearance of glycosin the glycosin uh, glycosin appears appears as clear vacuole where in the cytoplasm because it is intracellular why it occur because glycosin because glycosin dissolves in glycosin dissolve in aqueous fixatives uh example is absolute aqueous fixative example is absolute alcohol alcohol there the glycogen disappears and uh, dissolved because so disappears and that appear as clear vacuole in the cytoplasm this was aqueous uh, aqueous fixation fixation that was absolute alcohol in in that we have seen the glycogen then different uh, other methods are uh, there there by which we can see the glycogen that is the staining with best car carmine or pass reaction and that give the color of red to give the color of red to violet color to glycogen but the problem is that it stains it also stains protein bound carbohydrate protein bound carbohydrate example of uh, in which the glycogen will be the deposited that the most common example is diabetes mellitus and uh, the place where the uh, glycogen can be found are renal tubular epithelial cells liver cells beta cell of islets of langerhans in pancreas and heart muscle cell 
glycogen also accumulate in group of disorders i mean to say genetic disorders and that is referred as glycogen storage disease glycogen storage disease in in this glycogen storage disease there is what there is uh, enzymatic defect there is enzymatic defect in synthesis or breakdown of glycogen that lead to massive accumulation and causing cell death and the cell injury it cause massive accumulation lead to cell death cell injury first then cell death this was all about the glycogen now pigments deposition basically what is pigment pigments are the color substance uh, many pigments are the normal constituents of cell example is melanin but some are abnormal that accumulate in this cell under the special uh, circumstances and the pigment pigments can be exogenous or pigments can be endogenous uh, first first we will write that pigments are pigments can be firstly it's some some pigments are normal example melanin that we all know then uh, some can be exogenous and some can be endogenous first we will look about exogenous pigments the most common most common exogenous pigment is most common is carbon uh most why it is most common because it's the is the ubiquitous means present everywhere air pollutants in the urban area so it's most common when it is inhaled from from the from the mouth mouth and the nose uh carbon particle inhaled picked up my macrophages where where uh, which macrophages the alveoli macrophages because it is we are in, inhaling it no and uh, it is then transport to then transported to lymph hepatic channel to lymph node where in trying track you bronchial region and uh, it get accumulated there and the uh, accumulation of the carbon particle that give uh, that uh, what it do is that it blackens the tissue of lung and what be uh, called it this call as anthropocosis process uh and it is most big, biggest problem in the coal mines so we will look about the coal mines the coal burkers coal mine burkers carbon dust aggregate aggregate and aggregate aggregate and the uh, induce a fibroblastic reaction we have earlier also seen a fibroblastic uh, reaction or that is it also called as emphysema fibrous changes changes occur there and uh, this uh, this is a serious disease and it is named as pneumoconiosis school burger 
this was all about the most common particle that is carbon then one more exogenous pigment accumulation is tattooing it is also exogenous pigmentation of the skin and uh, when we uh, when there is tattooing in the skin the pigments get phag get phagocyte phagocyted phagocyte by dermal macrophages by dermal macrophage that get uh, phagocytes by dermal macrophage and uh, which is the you know uh, the home of that that those pigment means that get reside in the re remaining whole life and uh, there they remain but the, but they remain there they remain there in uh, remainder of their life but not in not involve any inflammatory response inflammatory response they just reside there after that we will look about this was all about exogenous pigment now there can be also endogenous so we will look about endogenous endogenous pigments and uh, they can be three three we have to study a is the lipofusin b is the melanin and c is the hemosiderin hemosiderin first we will look about lipofusin so fusin what is this this is the insoluble pigment insoluble pigment called also called as li lipochrome called as lipochrome or beer and tear pigment what is lipofusin lipofusin is polymer of polymer of lipid and phospholipid phospholipids complexed with protein and uh, it is derived from derived from lipid peroxidation of polyunsaturated lipid of intracellular membrane intracellular membrane means it is derived from lipid peroxidation of polyunsaturated lipid of intracellular lipofu lipofusin is not such uh, uh, i mean to say it's, it's not such injurious to health not injurious injurious to cell but if it is seen that it indicates the indicates the sign of free radical injury radical injury and lipid peroxidation peroxidation okay and um, the uh, lipofusin it refers to the brown tissue okay if if we say uh, see the tissue section it will appear as yellow brown yellow brown and uh, finally uh, gran granular cytoplasmic pigments there will be seen and uh, it is seen uh, particularly prominent in the firstly we should write that uh, lipofusin it means the brown lipid it means the brown lipid of course lipid because it's polymer of lipid and phospholipid and it what what is the appearance of lipofusin appear as yellow yellow brown and that is finally granular cytoplasmic pigments 
means it it's it's beyond the nucleus para nucleus pigment you can write that it is peri nuclear pigment and uh, peri nuclear and that is the finely granular cytoplasmic and it is seen where it is seen where seen in uh seen in, you can write slow at slow aggressive changes uh mostly in liver heart of age aging person or you can say uh, see with person with severe malnutrition and cancer that is cathexia everything is losing and this was all about lipofusin now we will look about b that is called as melanin this is this is in this is endogenous you know endogenous this has brown black and the uh, lipofusin was yellow brown this is brown black firstly yellow then remember yellow brown then we will look about brown black and this is this is pigment and how it is formed when when there is oxidation of tyrosine oxidation of tyrosine oxidation of tyrosine to to dihydro to dihydrophenyl hydro di, hy, so dihydroxyphenyl alanine what, what what is there there is oxidation of tyrosine to dihydroxyphenyl trihydroxyphenyl am um, phenyl alanine and with the enzyme with enzyme tyrosinase tyrosinase and that occur in the melanocyte where it occur in the melano sites melanin is melanin is only the only only it's only endogenous the brown black pig, pigment and uh, this is this is formed by the oxidation of tyrosine to dihydroxyphenyl amine with enzyme tyrosinase whenever there is oxidation of tyrosine to dihydroxyphenyl one more in this one more you can uh, study since it is brown black then you can uh, remember a black pigment there is also a black pigment one also black pigment that is the homogenistic acid patient with alkaptonuria with alkaptonuria this is a rare metabolic disease here there is pig, uh, here this this is pigment get deposited get deposited where in the skin connective tissue cartilage and it is called as achronosis ochronosis ochrono ochronosis ochronosis in melanin subtype you can remember there is one one more uh, like it was brown black it is black pigment homogenistic acid the patient suffering from alkaptonuria which is very rare metabolic disease and in that pigment get deposited in the skin connective tissue cartilage and that is called as ochronosis now we will look about look uh, third our th third or fourth you can say endogenous pigment that is hemosiderin it is the hemoglobin derived it is hemoglobin derived and the color is what golden golden yellow that was um, the lipofusion was yellow brown it is golden yellow to brown and this is also granular this is the crystalline crystalline pigment and what is hemosiderin that is the one of the major storage of form of the iron major storage form of iron okay 
how how is the iron transported in the in the body basically iron is normally carried by a special transport protein that is called as transferrin okay and uh, and in cell that, that is that is stored in association with the, uh, that is in cells that is stored in association with the protein that is called as apoferritin and that form the ferritin missiles so what what i am saying that uh, iron it is iron and it is carried by a specific transport protein what it is called as apoferritin sorry sorry called as transferrin sorry and in cell when it come to cell stored in association with protein association with protein it is called as apoferritin called apoferritin and it form form ferritin micelles and uh, ferritin uh, ferritin is they occur in the most of the cell and when this uh, when there is the local or synthetic excess when there there is uh, when there is excess of iron increase of iron that cause ferritin ferritin is the storage form in the cell that ferritin form the hemosiderin hemosiderin granules and it can be seen by light microscope and uh, what is basically hom- homocysteine homocysteine that is aggregate of ferritin m- m- micelles okay and uh, under normal condition where we can see the ferrit uh, the homocysteine normal condition normal condition small amount of homocysteine a small amount of hemocysteine seen where in the bone marrow in bone marrow in the spleen in the liver why there is because that, that is responsible for recycling of iron that is derived from the hemoglobin when there is uh, you know break de- breakdown of the red blood cell what caused the accumulation of homocysteine uh, accumulate in the cell there, uh, there can be the two two pro, two two, uh, two causes that is the lo- two local and the systemic excess of iron and that cause homocysteine cause homocysteine to accumulate into the cell within the cell now what is the local excess and what is the systemic excess